Dad, Ram just dropped the brand new TRX and it looks unbelievable. It's going to kick the Ford Raptor's butt. Tommy, I agree with one statement and that is it is unbelievable, but you know what? It's not gonna kick the Raptor's butt. No, you're wrong. So Tommy, let's first talk about the numbers because they are pretty mind-blowing. I mean, what do I have to say beyond the fact that they stuck a Hellcat motor into a Ram truck? Supercharged V8 in a Ram 1500, but they did so much more than that to create one of the coolest off-road trucks that has ever left a showroom floor. So what are the numbers? Well, let's kind of talk about tires first, right? 35 inch Goodyear Territory tires. The width, it's 88 inches wide, which is a little bit wider than the current Raptor. It's also got a little bit more ground clearance than the current Raptor. Suspension, it's got Bilstein Blackhawk E2 shocks. These are active shock absorbers. It also has a rear locking differential. And then of course the engine, 702 horsepower, 650 pound feet of torque. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. I wonder why they didn't go 707 or 717 like the current Challenger and Charger uh, Hellcats. But the current Raptor, let's kind of focus on that, of course has a uh, 450 horsepower uh, twin turbo. You know yep. that, right? Mm -hmm. um, it has, uh, well, not as much horsepower. That's, what is that, uh, 200 less? 250 less? Yeah, 250 less. It also has 140 less pound-feet of torque at 510. It has two more speeds in the transmission, though. The current Raptor has a 10-speed automatic. The new TRX has an 8-speed automatic. But it'll do 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds. What will the TRX do? 4.5, according mm. to Ram. So at top speed, 105? Ram says 118 on the TRX. Weighs 5,700 pounds? Yeah, the, the TRX is a big boy. Yeah. 6,500 pounds. Pricing with destination on the Raptor is what? Uh, it's 58,135, but you will never see that Raptor. No, you won't. They're typically around 60 or 70,000, and the TRX starts at about 71,690. Okay, how about towing? Uh, towing and the, payload. Yeah, towing and payload is a little better on the TRX as well, so the current Raptor will tow 8,000, the new TRX will tow 8,100. Mm -hmm. Payload on the current Raptor is 1,200, payload on the new TRX. 1310. All right, this is why you're wrong. Okay. Two words. What? Current Raptor. That's right. So all of this are the uh, specifications on the Raptor. You can buy it right now. But as we know, Ford just unveiled the new 2021 F-150. And usually what happens is there is a year between when the new F-150 comes out and when the Raptor comes out. But right. we don't think it's going to happen this year. We think that Ford is going to roll out a brand new Raptor because they have to, because a TRX just laid down the law. Yeah, I mean, the speculation is that along with that new F-150, in the same model year, we're gonna see a brand new Raptor, the Desert Runner, the crazy off-road truck. All right, so here's what I think Ford's gonna do. Ford's gonna bring their A-game, all right? Okay. All right, and the A-game is something that uh, is gonna take on the TRX directly. So I predict, and this is why I think you're wrong, Tommy, yep. that Ford's gonna take that big boy V8, out of the GT500. Okay. Supercharged, 760 horsepower, right? Yep. That's how much it makes in the yep. GT500. And they're gonna stick it in the Raptor and they're gonna stick it to Ram. That would be amazing, but I think you're incorrect on this one, Dad. Uh, okay, why? Well, if you look at what Ford has really been pushing in the last several years, it's the EcoBoost. Turbocharged, V6s. The current Raptor has a twin turbo EcoBoost. Yeah, that's a, that's a head scratcher. I remember when we had the first generation Raptor, right? Yep. One of my favorite trucks, by the way. Yeah. The 6.2 liter. And uh, you know, I love the V8. V8s and pickup trucks, peanut butter, jelly. Twin turbo V6 with augmented engine noise in the cabin. Very odd. Granted, performance in the twin turbos is very good, especially at elevation. But here's the deal, even their top dog supercar, the Ford GT, right? Yep. Historically had a big old V8. The Rebirth in the mid 2000s had a supercharged V8. The new one, twin turbo V6. And that's their halo vehicle, the Bronco. Turbocharged four, twin turbo V6. The new Raptor, I'm saying twin turbo V6 with a catch. What's the catch? 
Well, if you guys have been paying attention to tfltruck.com, you'll know the new F-150 is coming out with something called Power Boost, yep. which is a hybrid system. Mm -hmm. And I think on this new Raptor, we're going to see an extreme version of that hybrid system. So you're still going to get the twin turbo V6, yep. but they're going to take the hybrid system out of something like the Aviator GT. Puts out, if I remember, over 600 pound-foot of torque. Yeah, over 600 pound-feet of torque. I think they're going to even increase that number higher on the new Raptor. You're going to have a V6 twin turbo Raptor with uh, all sorts of electric and none of that's going to matter because the Ram has a 6.2 liter supercharged V8, which is what people have been asking in the Raptor for so long, and that twin turbo hybrid is not going to be nearly as cool. So before I tell you why you're wrong again, okay. all right, <laughs> yeah. um, for all of you Ram fans or all of you Ford fans that want to know more about the uh, TRX, uh, we actually have a really great in-depth uh, interview with the engineers behind the TRX, uh, and that's on our podcast, which you can actually find on TFL Truck, or if you want to stay on YouTube, yep. we have a new YouTube channel where we do nothing but publish our podcast called TFL Talk. Yeah. So mm -hmm. head on over there. We just published, well, more than everything you ever want to know about the TRX, so a real deep dive into what makes it special, including the fact that there's a unique frame. So we should kind of explain that the TRX is more than just a Hellcat engine stuck in you know, your standard Ram 1500. No, 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 we shouldn't. Let them go over to the podcast. Okay, well. Let me, let me tell you why you're wrong. Let them go to the podcast <laughs> if they want to hear that. Look, okay. dude, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, fancy schmancy aviator hybrid, you know, in the new Raptor. Why? Why not just go old school? You know, they've done it before. They've got the engine. Good God, there's certainly enough room under the hood to stuff that uh, GT500 V8 right into it. Or take your Coyote and, you know, supercharge it if you want to go a little bit less exotic. But for God's sakes, I think Ford is smart enough to realize that given the choice, right, between a Hellcat-powered monster 700 and 2 horsepower Ram TRX and some kind of a hybrid twin turbo V6, most Americans, right? Most Americans, I don't know if you guys get it in, I don't think they get it in Europe, do they? Or Australia? Mm, I, don't I don't think know. they do. Yeah, most Americans, because we love our V8s, are gonna go for the V8 option. And so I, I think that the, this, this, this kind of hybrid-y thing is not gonna do it. Um, maybe, maybe an electrified Raptor could do it, but I think we're too early. There's not even an electrified, fully electrified uh, Ford F-150 yet, so I think that would be one step too far. So I see them looking backwards and giving the fans what they want. Jeep just did it with uh, the Wrangler, right? Yeah, they put the, they're putting the V they put the, the Wrangler. Hemi, yeah. the 392. So why wouldn't Ford do the same thing and stuff either a supercharged Coyote or the GT500 engine, I think it's probably the same variant, right, into the new Raptor. It, it couldn't be that hard, could it? I definitely respect your opinion, yeah. and that Maybe would cafe standards? That would be super cool. I think it's going to be a cost thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, it appears that Ford is definitely moving more and more toward the EcoBoost engines, especially in the F-150 lineup. And I think if they hadn't gone in with the mindset that this new Raptor, you know, I'm talking like eight years ago when, right. when this was still on paper, right. if they hadn't gone in with the mindset that this new Raptor needs a V8, I think at this point it's going to be too late for them to turn around and stick one in, and too expensive. Now, of course, you can get in the new 2021 the 5 liter Coyote, yep. uh, but the power numbers are nowhere near 700 on that. You would have to either supercharge the Coyote, like you said, which is a possibility. Uh, they also have that, like you said, Shelby engine, or there's one other option, the big block. 7.3 yeah. out of the F-250. You're doing my argument. Thank you, Tommy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Put but the Godzilla motor in, into it. Even though in the uh, F-250, that's still nowhere near 702 horsepower. Yeah, they'd have to, once again, force induct that. But I, I, I think that's a cool thought. I love brainstorming with it, with, with that, with you, Dad. But quite honestly, so, so Ford has put so much money into electrification on the power boost with the inverter and all this crazy stuff. That's what they're going to do, so, hybrid so, so, Raptor. So here's why I think it's going to be either the GT500 engine or maybe, like you said, the uh, new Godzilla motor. Ford is super competitive, right? Yeah. And, and look, I mean, Ram didn't just, you know, uh, bring, you know, a gun to a gunfight. They brought a bazooka to a gunfight. <laughs> I mean, the numbers are staggering, right? 700 horsepower two, and a half ton truck. 252 more horsepower, right? Compared to uh, the current Raptor, yeah, that, 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 you know that, that is like that 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 is a Bronco difference, <laughs> right? It really is in terms of power between the two. So knowing how competitive Ford is, and, and we know they're competitive because you know 
you know, we published a, a picture of theirs that they didn't like, and they, and they pretty much slapped us down. Yeah. So, so knowing how competitive Ford is, I can't see them just saying, you know what, we're going to increase the, the wick on the twin turbo uh, 3.5 liter V6, which they could do, right? You could increase the wick, right? You could, well, easy, sure. you could increase the pressure of the turbos, you could, you could tune it, you could boost it. You could probably pretty easily get 50 more horsepower, maybe if you pushed it. You could probably get 600 out of the engine if they, I mean, for, for a... 40 miles, any engine will run a thousand horsepower. I, I, yeah, I agree. You, you could probably easily get 500, right? Uh, but it's weak sauce. It's just weak. you can't go uh, the mightiest, most popular truck segment, full size truck. You can't have one that's 702 and one that comes in, you know, to the to the bar fight with uh, 600 horsepower. So what about this, right? Some of the most insane hypercars in the world, yeah. Porsche 918, yeah. have uh, a hybrid hybridized drive system. Right. So. I really do think they're going to go hybrid, but I think they're going to go pretty crazy in the numbers. It's going to be like 703 horsepower out of the Uber Power Boost. It's still going to be a hybrid though. I don't think that Ford is going to commit to a V8, and I hope I'm wrong. I, I, like, I hope you're right, because that would be a cool truck, but I don't think they're going to do it. It's going to be some plug-in hybrid F-150 with a lot of turbos and a V6, you know, and it's not going to sound as good. You know, um, I think you're always better giving the customers what they want. But, and but, then Ford's in a perfect position, right? They, they took the candy away. They said, we've got the candy, which is a 6.2, but you guys can't have it, right? <laughs> so it's the forbidden fruit now yep. for the last, you know, whatever that is, five years or so, right? Uh -huh. So now, guess what? You can have your candy back no. and you can eat it too. And I think that is a really great strategy in terms of doing sales. I, I, I think the only thing that's keeping it from doing that is do you, do you, I mean, they had, look, dude, they had enough notice that Ram was doing this, right? This is no secret that the TRX is gonna have a Hellcat engine, right? The only thing that was surprising was we thought it was gonna be detuned down to like 500. We thought they were gonna like, you know, take on the Raptor with 50 more horsepower, but they came out of the gate with, you know, full 702, crazy. Well, well if you remember, the concept, they had a concept TRX a number of years yeah, back. 500 or something. 575, right. I want to say. And then they, they blew that out of the water. So Ford but, knew it was but, coming. But Ford can do that now. Everybody, I shouldn't say everybody, a lot of people have been asking for a V8 Raptor in the current generation, and they said it's not going to happen, I, and I, it hasn't happened. You know, cafe standards, right? Yeah. yeah. Basically, a manufacturer has to meet certain numbers, and recently those have become less important under the current administration, but depending on which way the political winds blow, that may become very important again. Mm. So, once again, cafe standards basically determine the general fuel economy of a brand, and they have to stay with, especially in California, they have to stay within a number before... They have to meet a yeah, minimum. before they get yeah. penalized, right? Mm -hmm. They have to pay big bucks. And, so, and Ram just... They just buy the credits, right? That's they, what they do. They buy FCA the, buys a lot of credits. Yeah, but Ford, I mean, one word. What? Ford's going to have a, one vehicle that's going to give them a lot of credits. You know what I'm talking about. mach -E. Exactly. I don't the think one so. one Mach-E can uh, offset, uh, you know, a, a GT500 powered, and just imagine that. If they, if they call that the, the Raptor GT. There you go, Ford. That's a freebie. Hmm. Wouldn't that be cool? I don't think it's going to happen. I really don't. You don't get. like the Raptor GT? Uh, the, oh, I love that, man. The, I would love that. The Ford winds are pushing so far toward electrification, be it with hybrid systems, be it with plug-in hybrids, be it with full electrics. And, you know, I hate to say it. I mean, in the Ford, Ford world, there's no V8 in the Bronco, so why would there be a V8 in the new Raptor? All right, guys. Well, let us know what you think by letting us know in the comments below. If you want to know everything there is to know about the new TRX, there's two places you can go. You can head on over to TFL Truck, yep. mm -hmm. uh, where Andre has now done a complete uh, uh, download of everything we know about it, including a lot more videos and images and all the good stuff. Or or you can check out our new podcast, uh, which is uh, over at TFL Talk, a YouTube channel. Uh, and there we have a very in-depth interview with all the engineers. Um, I think Ford's going to bring it and they're going to create the Ford Raptor GT. That's my guess. I think they're going to bring it, but it's going to be a hybrid. That'd be disappointing. Well, we'll see. Uh, maybe not. I, I, you know, we'll see. Maybe I, it'll I, be I, one hell I, of a hybrid. And dude, there is one other vehicle that's, you know, I think sitting in the shadows that could potentially, you know, change the game. And you know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, Chevy. W with that Z... No, I'm talking about the Cybertruck. Oh. 
I think that's. I think. Yeah. I think the Cybertruck. You know. I think yeah. those guys are looking yeah, at true. potentially a thousand pound foot of torque out of a full size truck. Oh, and the Hummer EV. Well, we that's don't know much about to be, that. Yeah. They say it's supposed to be three seconds to sixty. But whether that's true or not, whether that's going to happen is still pretty far off. What we do know is that this year there will be a seven hundred and two Hellcat power TRX for sale that you can buy. Uh, and I think um, by the end of 2020, it's going to be available. Yeah, this year. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. going to be able to go yeah. to a dealer. But like, like the like best it. thing about this year. Yeah, the best thing. And I, and I think uh, with your support, we're going to have to go get one of those. We'll see. Come on, not we'll see. We we got to, we we got to. I don't know. We'll see what they do with the Raptor. If it's hella cool, we may have a Raptor in our driveway. All right. Thanks for watching and check out TFL Car, TFL Truck, and now TFL Talk. See you guys next time. And know you're wrong, Tommy. Ford Raptor GT.